I want to eat all of the best burgers in Singapore. And that brought me to Nothing But Cheese Burgers, a trendy burger joint in the heart of town, to try their double cheese burger. The whole place looks very attractive, with a striking black and yellow theme, sporting some well-cultured phrases. For our international audience, most of these acronyms are used as crude and or vulgar phrases in dialect. Nothing that you need to know about. What you do need to know however, is that the menu is relatively small. Something that I really enjoy, I think it allows the kitchen to really zero in on what they want to achieve. Anyway, they called my number and I went and got my burger and it was heavy. Even before opening the wrapper, the burger is turning out to be quite the value buy. You know what else is a value buy? Subscribing to the channel! We try all the best burgers in Singapore every Monday 9pm. If there's something that you'll be interested in, subscribe! Anyway, we ran into the curse of the wrapper again. Having perfectly melted cheese ripped away from the burger, felt like I'm watching a kid get food all over himself. So I bit into it, or rather I tried to bite into it. This burger was actually quite big, so I had to do my lineups and take it seriously. And not only were the patties juicy, they also had a bit of a bounce to them, which made it very fun to bite. You can feel the slightest snap every time you break a layer. Very interesting texture, it's almost like a meat cake or a sausage. They come medium rare by default, which shouldn't be the preferred doneness for burgers, but still very enjoyable. Buns held up nicely, the brioche buns were sturdy with a good amount of butter in it. You can literally taste the butter how you might when you make buttered toast at home. However, there's something that I couldn't quite figure out. There's some burnt juices at the bottom. At the location, it smells of a Chinese restaurant. I have no idea if it's intentional, but it works? I'm not sure where it comes from either. Because the patties weren't burnt, the buns were a little bit, but not so much that it will create this blackish juice. Maybe it's residue from the griddle, I couldn't tell you. Lettuce and tomatoes were hidden in the background, as they should. Even before talking about the missus, $15.90 for this, take my money man. On to the missus, which were very surprising. The patties were over seasoned. When I started this best burger series, I thought that I might find more over seasoned patties. Because it's easy to over season burgers. There are often many components to a burger and each component requires at least a little bit of seasoning. But this is the first burger so far that is too salty. Not by much, maybe 20%. It might work for people who prefer saltier things. Or maybe mine was just an accident. Not a big deal. The bigger miss was actually the sauce. From what I can see, it's only mayo or mayo plus very little else. Although they do say it's their secret sauce on the menu, I found myself craving for some creamy umami and acidity, especially when the patty is pretty salty. I always thought burger sauce is like whatever, because like we mentioned in the previous EO Smash Burger episode, they always say it's a secret recipe and it's always easy to make. This is the first time in the series I found a burger lacking sauce. And for the last miss, I needed more cheese in the burger. Again, very surprising because they gave two good slices of cheese in between the patties. But almost a whole slice worth of cheese is peeled away by the wrapper. The creamy buffer of melted cheese is much needed, especially when the patties are overly salty. At the end of the meal, the staff came over to ask how the food was. Which like I mentioned before, you don't get this in Singapore. Not at this price point anyway. And this time I was also wearing a t-shirt and shorts. In town paying $15.90 for a burger. So verdict, one burger, I'm gonna have this burger if I happen to be within walking distance, two burgers, I'll take a couple of bus rides to have this burger, and three burgers, I'll have this burger no matter where I am in Singapore. And nothing but cheese burgers is... Two burgers. I love it. I love the idea of it all the way from the top. The name tells you it's nothing but cheese burgers, in a very crude and direct way. And they do just that. Solid no frills cheeseburgers at an incredibly competitive price. And this is in the heart of town, mind you. If they ever break into the heartlands, the price will be even lower. Actually, on the flip side, I would love to see what they can do if the price point was higher. Like an Ata CB. And that's all I have for you guys this time. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.